Ah! Cover up. What? Oh, <laughs> yes. Hello, everyone. This is Brian Paul and the team. Uh, did you guys? Did you guys want to film this week's episode? Or yes, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. we should. Oh, okay, I, I th- I thought, we're not going to do it live. We're just going to go to tape. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah, yeah I, thought, I, I thought maybe we would just you know, you know play house this week and yeah. yeah. Well, we were trying to. Seventeen <laughs> past. Hi, everybody. It's Hello. Only, it's only thirteen past. We're, yeah. we're, not, oh. we're not terribly late. Oh, yeah. that, that intro took a solid minute. So right. we're only yeah, every week, minutes late. That's that helps us every week, Sorry, when, folks. Yeah, when it's time it, it to was, do my ninety seconds, let's play that cat video. It was it was either us being late or you not getting viewer takeover tomorrow. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm fine with either. So one of the viewer takeover questions was, how would things change if we had unlimited resources? <laughs> We'd probably make it on time. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> no, we still wouldn't be on time. There's no, no way. Yeah, absolutely not. Because if we because if we we were to do this uh, full time. Uh, we'd be doing a live show like every day, yeah. which means there'd be less time to prepare for it, right. mm. and uh, we would just be late every single day, but at least, you know, you'd get... We'd, we'd have to, we'd like to reset the camera every day. We'd, we'd just be, have to live here. That's true. We'd have two different cameras, and we'd have just... Oh, God. Live yeah. We have a switcher. I don't, know, I don't know why we even talk about the future. It just makes me depressed about the present. <laughs> Jesus. This and is the PSVR Gamescast Live, where we film live every Tuesday afternoon and bring it to YouTube. Live is PSVR Gamescast. That's right, live. As always, my name is Brian Paul. That's Desra. And to my far right is the king of all VR kings, Jeremy King. I, I, I really wish we had some better way to introduce Des. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with Des. Also, I'm, I'm very robotic and stiff, so, uh, so, so you should get rid of me, uh, and then bye-bye channel. And yes. thank you to Will to saying hi to everyone in the chat for us. Yes, and hello, everybody. <laughs> I love that. Some people are like, oh, hey, Will, and then and Will's like, hey, like response each and every single person. Everyone. I go on other people's streams, and I'm like, and I'm like, hey, I went on Dave Station's, uh, one of his rhythm music games last night. so sweet. What's up? Tom Chikato? Chikato? Hey, Hi guys, I'm new, and I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your videos and comments are so cool. Tom, we think you're so cool thank too. Thank you. Welcome to the family. Yes. And about to the, <clears throat> the stop thinking about the future. You ever hear that no. by the time your the eyeball and your brain think processes the, the image and you see it, it's already been 0.8 mm-hmm. seconds, and therefore yep. you're already seeing it after it's happened. Think about the future. It's crazy, right? Makes driving seem impossible. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Playing about neurology will break everything. So, yeah. Mm. This is what happens on PSVR <clears throat> Gamescast Live for all of our new subscribers like is it Tom? Tom. Tom. Um, uh, PSVR Gamescast Live is... Uh, don't let your love for the channel crumble after this episode, <laughs> it's, please. It's, it's basically about PlayStation VR, but Sometimes. Uh, you know, for the most part, we, we, we get caught up with each other, talk yeah. about life, yes. talk about love, and talk about friendship. Mm. You name it. I mean, everything. Anal sex. It's talked and, about quite a bit, actually. Metcat. Erections. Metcat, and, uh, speaking so, of which... I, I see uh, uh, PSVR Underground or God Cannon is in the chat now. Yeah. And something came up in <clears throat> the chat of one of the videos this week. I just realized something. If he's the underground, does that mean we're the mainstream? <laughs> does that mean we are not punk? Are we like, what do they call that band? New degree? New edition? Not new edition. That's new an old edition. One. Wow. Was <laughs> brand new? Are they old too? Oh. I love brand new. I don't know. I've heard you mention them. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I, I want to. Does that mean we're like them? I was to find my taste into like indie What's and, and off the mainstream. Nowadays? But well, if like, he's the underground, then Britney Spears by default. I, I you know, is I, Paula I think... Abdul still relevant? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> is Paula Abdul still alive? Oh, she was she was a judge on uh, on American Idol, right? Yes, Paula Abdul was like early days. Yes, right? was she? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't really watch American when, Idol, but that, I remember when, that when her ambient alcohol and other <laughs> levels kind of all evened out. Was she the one that danced with the cat? Yes, she was. Yes. DJ Scat Cat. Actually, D- they named the, the cat. Oh yeah, it was it was in the video. Thing. It was like the Cheetos, except a little different. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tom. This is what you're. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you up on Paul Abdul. A yep. little bit of housekeeping uh, as we get the show started. Uh, make sure you head on over on your PlayStation Four to our community PSVR without pro game cats. Wow. Uh, it's uh, it's it, people still don't know that there's a community tab on their PlayStation yeah, Four Tom, console. Go over and check it out oh, on no. that so convenient and easy to follow crossbar that no, PlayStation. Because way. while the comments wow. underneath our videos are fun and there's conversations all the time, uh, you know the, the conversations <laughs> end when the I video gets stale. So make sure you, uh, you know, the conversations are never ending over on our community. Mm-hmm. What is making you sad? Well, he's sad. I it's was like laughing. a constant attempt to derail the show. What, what Kev Gret said that uh, Paul okay. Abdul fell off a stage during a live concert just very recently. I don't know, talking yeah. about it. Ambien and, yeah. Uh, yeah. and alcohol. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, See, like, when you do embarrassing things and no one's around, it's like, oh, it was embarrassing. Maybe a couple people saw it. But falling off the stage, that's forever. Yeah. We can, I can now... 
or in 12 years watch it by yep. just going on my little computer and seeing it forever same, same with like embarrassing shit I do on here it's permanent unless you block it please block some stuff Brian <laughs> I advertise that stuff. Remember, yeah. remember when Michelle used to show up drunk for the podcast? Oh my god, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so drunk. Oh, I advertised the fuck out of those episodes. Yeah. Uh, they were funny and sometimes not. Yeah, but Most, were, mostly sad. Yeah, mostly sad. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he had his own CD. <laughs> Who? Oh, they were going down this rabbit hole. Scat Mski got had, had his own CD. Wait, isn't Scat kind of like not a? Yeah. What does that mean? I forget. It has something to do with Who? anal sex. Well, a little more than that. Oh. <laughs> so video games so just you know make sure you, you look that up on the computer I'm the not going to google the yeah. word <laughs> scat a little shout out to uh, um, or actually a, a little P- PSA um, mm. there was a drunk guy uh, nearby last night around 3 4 a.m. Yeah. Okay. and uh, so I was trying to catch a few hours of sleep and get up and finish my rush review yeah. Yeah. and instead of sleeping I laid in bed and he- heard this guy screaming Right, I don't know at who. I looked out the window. I was watching him now yeah. because now, I'm like, I can't, I can't sleep. Yeah, yeah he's screaming. Out. So I was like watching him out the window. So he, first he's screaming, obviously drunk. He can barely stand up. Every time he he falls oh, over. Oh, that was me. No, it's not. <laughs> Trust me, he looked nothing like you, and uh, he sounded like nothing like you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, and and people would actually come by and be like, because if I was walking down the street at 3 o'clock in the morning and I witnessed this guy, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't walk over and be like, do you need help? Yeah. I'd be like, I'm going to walk faster yeah. away from him. But people would actually come by and try to help him. They'd like, you know, take his hand, like help him stand up and yeah. stuff. And then he, and, but then he'd start like bawling, like crying at the top of his lungs. Uh, so he went from screaming to crying. And I was like, this was hours. He was not okay. He just and this love. is why my rush review isn't done. Ah. <laughs> so blame blame the, the, the sad, screaming homeless man, yeah. or drunk man. I don't know if he's had a home. I've definitely been in the same situation. I've always had a home. <laughs> um, crying and But we can blame yelling. that guy for my rush review not being done. It will get done after this uh, after the show, though. Um, right. So expect my rush review after the show. Spoilers. It's nifty. It's a should we. Highly recommended. Uh, it's a rush. Sabina Smolin, what is this? What is <laughs> Welcome to the show. Sabina, yes. <laughs> I'm just talking about drunk homeless people. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and trust me, if, if I had, if I was still drinking, I would have grabbed vodka out of my freezer, <laughs> went down outside and been yep. like, here, drink this now. <laughs> and then just, and then he would just lay down, passed out. Yeah. And I could have gotten some sleep. And then he could have rifled through his pockets. No. <laughs> <laughs> might have bricked yourself with yeah a sharp object. Listen, I'm, I, I was, I was, I, you know, I was thinking about my own benefit yeah. yes. from this, but I, I didn't want to like, you know, mug him. Right. <laughs> like, I don't want anything he has. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, let's talk. Let's talk about. Uh, let's do it. Stuff. The games. I, I love the fact whatnot. that Sabina just was like going through YouTube and somehow the algorithm said, "Oh, you should check this out." Yeah. And you love had, VR? Check this out. It's so weird what pops up when I'm like going through yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Like when I just bring up the app to like you know check on our subscriber list or whatever. Uh, sometimes sometimes the things that suggest to me. Yeah. yeah. I was like, uh, okay, well, I guess I'll watch this. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And so that it just happened to somebody else. Yeah. Yep. Like porn. It's like, <laughs> I feel like watching a video like this. You do a search and it's like, these videos mention this. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> That's what I picture people watch porn doing. So, what's searches. on the docket? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even know what so what's up? anymore. Clean, I, uh, uh, house cleaning, uh, clean up, house clean up. It's yeah. my first week. Yeah, what, what are that kind of house cleaning we got? Make sure you head on over to patreon.com slash without parole. Games. And uh, give us a dollar or more every single month. Yes, uh, please. We, this channel is run on Patreon uh, yep. support, so thank you so much for mm. said support. I had a big chat with that, actually, with the kids at the, uh, the fencing club last night. Yeah? They were like, I guess there's this, I, I don't even want to mention names, there's this whole thing on YouTube going on about, you know, anyways. Um, but I was like, well, that's why we like don't count on any YouTube income. I mean, I do. Yeah, well, we, we do. I mean, yeah, it does come in, but like that could go away like that. Yep. All YouTube has to say is like, you know what? We're not going to pay people pay people anymore. And there's no contract. Like you, the, the contract you've signed is YouTube owns everything all the time and shut up and take it. Yeah. You know, so that's why like but our when Patreon, that happens, trust me, we're all moving to Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so for us, that's why our Patreon is so important because you're the people who support us. You're the people who like like what we're doing, and if that kind of thing changes, we know you won't go away. So thank you. We don't we, we don't know that they won't go away. Well, we really hope. <laughs> it, it, it's highly likely that after this show, everyone's going away. Yeah. 
Fair enough. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, what right, a bunch five. of uh, PlayStation right. VR games came out last oh, week, so um, let's get caught up on it. those. Let's start off with this one right here. This one is called Affected. Uh, Man, I'm another horror game. Sorry. In the Triforce. <laughs> oh, I just screamed really loud. Oh, oh. sorry. Take oh. off your headphones. My bad. Sorry, guys. Uh, Affected the Manor. Uh, Fallen Planet Studios is uh, is this this is been all over different VR systems. Mm-hmm. I think this was like been around for like at least a year or two. And uh, and I gotta say, I gotta say, I was uh, shocked by how good it was. Um, okay. this is, you know, after having paid twenty five dollars to go to a local, somewhat professional haunted house, um, you know, this past Halloween and being extremely disappointed by it. Yeah. Uh, for eight dollars, I got I got an experience that was twice as long. Okay. Uh, and in a hundred times scarier, uh, and, uh, and I think it actually looks really good in the headset. Um, I they they really took uh, good use of the VR yeah. headset and uh, or, or use of VR things that we've talked about before. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, why don't more horror games do this or that? Yeah, this one does a little bit of that. Oh, okay, oh, cool. Um, so I uh, definitely recommend anyone who enjoys haunted houses should definitely check out Affected the Manor. Cool. And Alessandra, sorry, that's exactly my point. Uh, YouTube does all the heavy lifting, and if we actually had to pay for the hosting, the bandwidth of this video, uh, ugh, yeah. So that's that's my point about YouTube. Yeah, we're not like, complaining about YouTube. Yeah, I no, love no, no. YouTube, <clears throat> and that's what these kids in my club were complaining about. It's unfair. The it's like no, it's yeah. not. It's not unfair. No, they, yeah, they own all of this. Yeah. Hey, will yep. you hug Brian from Mikey? Me? Yeah. Just Mikey can't. That's actually Aww. Mikey hugging you. Okay. Yay. Yeah. Little, Thanks, little, Mikey. Little little Christian side hug. That's a joke for maybe one of you. Maybe one? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, also, what else did we get last week? Last week we got... Uh, psh, let's check out this one right here. Uh, hopefully all the trailers work this week. So far, so good. Yeah, yeah This so one flat. is Space Pirate Trainer. Space Pirate oh, yeah, Trainer. Right. Yeah, we talked about this last week. We did. Uh, but last week we hadn't played it, I don't think, right? Right. Uh, so... Uh, I, I don't remember if I bought it or if I got a review key. Oh, I got a review key, uh, mm. and uh, after it came out, and so I, I got I got a chance to play. And I wasn't expecting much. Yeah. But as it turns out, this is phenomenal. Does it look this good? It looks this good. Okay. It yeah. plays even better than it looks. Uh, this is legit super hot combined with Blasters of the Universe. Like the okay. fact that this been, has been out for like two years on PC. Yeah, that's I was crazy. like, oh, like this this is what Blasters of the Universe was based on, basically. Oh, you know, just with like a right. sense of humor, you know? Yeah. Th- this takes itself more seriously, but also like it just it plays like a dream, man. And like anyone who likes classic arcade games like Galaga and mm-hmm. loves VR, I mean you're you're gonna want to play this. And it's cheap. I think it was like fifteen bucks. And with any luck it's still on sale. Well I'm I'm on board with a game like this that actually wears on its sleeve. No, this is what we are. We are a wave shooter, we are a point based thing. And that's you know, I I was a little more of a defender of evasion when I was, but now like I, actually I, now I kind of see the hate. It's like it's trying to hide the fact that it's a wave shooter. Yeah, you know, well, with something like Space Pirates, there I do like the idea that it's just like, no, this is what we are. You're gonna stand there. You're gonna shoot stuff. You're gonna get points. Go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, and the, and the fact is, if if in I don't want to harp on about evasion, mm-hmm. but uh, but if evasion was a good wave shooter. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I would have liked it way more. Yeah, you know, like, it, but but it wasn't. It was it was boring, man. And like every level was exactly the yeah. same. And you know, you never changed your weapon once you chose your character class. And right. the character classes weren't that much different. And even yeah, co-op yeah. was just like an exercise in like sharing your frustration with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Right. Uh, I, it was it was a lot. I had more issues with evasion than than yeah. just the wave shooter. Aspect. Sometimes I feel like people who make games need to be like 40 or above you know what i mean so they have a lot of gaming experience instead of like 20 year olds who have played a lot of like mediocre not that they have i'm just saying it feels like sometimes they've played like uh some maybe mobile games and now they're making a a video game then the flip side is like oh i have so much gaming experience i have so many habits about what games should be you know sometimes you need that fresh person who's New and just try something crazy, it's crazy new. Yeah, I'll uh, be like Paul or Peter Molyneux and promise all these yeah. things. Or, well, the others that too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, heads up, uh, Space Pirate Trainer. If you got Plus, is still on sale, twenty percent off. Uh, that launch discount apparently did not expire yet, so it's twelve bucks. Twelve dollars. Yeah, it's good yeah. stuff. Uh, also, let's see. I just want to see. Okay, we we definitely weren't sure if everything that we said in this week was actually coming out this week. Oh, Bruce uh, Walker is another. What is this? Well, that's strange. Hey, What's up, welcome. Bruce Walker? Thanks for joining us. Uh, sit tight, man. We'll get to games eventually. Yeah, we we talk about PSVR and other stuff, mm. and depending on how things go, that ratio changes wildly. Yeah, wildly. Yeah, yeah. it's like an article in Playboy. 
It's like it's in there. Oh, hey. And then you can find good content at Gabriel. Hey, Thank oh, you, you got him. Awesome. So, oh, what nice. Happened? Uh, you, have to, you have to read to me. I, I can't yeah, see Gabriel things. 004, the game cat, uh, just gave us a four ninety nine donation. So thank you so very much. Thanks, bud. Um, much and because it. of that, we're going to read his comments. <laughs> Thanks mm. for the wristbands and mutual hate on evasion. <laughs> right on. Uh, so you're welcome for the wristbands. Sorry they got a little late. Um, it's just one of those. No no real reason. Oh, well, actually, no. There was a real reason for yours. I had some issues with PayPal. But you did everything fine. Glad you got them. Yay. I think, I think you guys are up for rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Stuff. All right. All right. I don't want to slap you that high. No, you slap. you right. deserve to be mildly hit because <laughs> you destroyed me in five point. Oh yeah. All right. What else is going on? Last week we also got, and I think this was definitely the game of the week. We saved the best for last. Uh, mm. Here we go. This is in death. Yeah. Which Desra yeah. right here sitting next to me reviewed for us. It's good. Man, oh man, I keep messing up the sound. Hold on one second. There we go. Justin, I can't afford any of these because I'm trying to get enough together for Borderlands. Eh, I buy this. <laughs> <laughs> Borderlands, you play Borderlands. This is this is new. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. This is in death was a uh, definitely a surprise for me. Yeah. Again, like I'll say, the trailer just really doesn't look that impressive. And honestly, the first I, we said this before, the first five minutes you play it, you're gonna say, "What are these people talking about?" But then die. Yeah. And then play it again. Like oh, and then die and play it again. Oh. And you basically have the cycle of this is getting harder and harder and harder and awesome. Yeah, I'd say yeah. like the first hour that I almost almost the whole first hour that I played, mm -hmm. I didn't die. And oh, I was really? I was wandering okay. around, I got lost quite a bit. Yeah. And then I kept backtracking and then finding new enemies. And I was like, oh, I guess I haven't been here. And then, uh, but but then, uh, but but then finding, I was like, oh, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be heading. Uh, and so I kind of like wandered aimlessly for about an hour. And uh, and I was like, I don't I don't understand what everyone's talking about. Why is it so good? And then uh, and then I died mm -hmm. and did it again. And I was like, oh. Yeah, and immediately I feel like the second time you play is yeah. when it starts getting more challenging, yeah. more interesting. You unlock the achievements, and the achievements unlock different things within the game. Uh, so you start finding better weapons, you mm -hmm. start finding or or more powerful arrows. Yeah, the, but the enemies become a little more uh, a little more skillful, a little bit mm -hmm. more deadly. Oh and, yeah, uh, it's just a lot more fun, and, you, and then you're forced to use the game mechanics. Mm -hmm. And I think when you're forced to like start using the teleportation to its full effect, yeah. is when the game really starts to shine. Yeah, yeah. as it's like especially. The just the, the beginning level, like the, the the monks with the arrows, right? The yeah. monks they're, with the arrows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ba they're basically when you first start playing, they're not even a bother. Like you can stand there, and they're just not even going to get anywhere near you. But as you play, they get more and more accurate. And pretty soon, you just see one like holding your eye, like crap, dodging for cover. So, yeah. yeah. It does seem like I, we mentioned this a little bit, uh, but it does seem like the enemies uh, are very, very observant. Uh, it yes. seems like they, there's not you. Even when you go, even when you take the rooftops and you like just kind of travel mm. up there, uh, they they see you, man. Like they, yep. even if they're standing on the ground, just like hanging out. The moment you get anywhere mm. near them, they turn around. They're, they're firing at you. Or even that. I don't know if this is a level thing or it never came up. The knights with the axes. Yeah. You know, you're you're standing there like, oh, it's just a knight over there. Okay, no problem. Also, oh, he's throwing stuff at me now. He's never done that. Hmm. Yeah, that was one of the. I think that was one of the ach achievements that unlocks, right? Yeah. One, one of the difficulty. Yeah. Spikes. Uh, good stuff though I think like if you like the persistence uh, if you like I'm gonna even say if you like Dark Souls like yeah. this is this is that kind of difficulty mm -hmm. uh, but and also with the persistence that kind of gameplay where it's just right. dying is just part of it and expect yeah. to die quite a bit I've been playing for hours and uh, I still haven't beaten the first boss no oh, so I've, I've beaten the first boss I haven't beaten the second yet um, and DLG27 says in death moves or DS4 which is best to use that's a, that's a loaded question. Yeah, best is depends on uh, your... So more immersive and more challenging, the moves, definitely. Because you're drawing the bow. You have to draw it further back enough to get actually the full power. Um, it's based off... It, you show you the, how far absolutely it's based off a distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, the DS4, <laughs> Bless I you. think, makes the game easier to play. Um, oh, much easier. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Let me ask yeah. you this. Yeah. Did you ever use the bow and arrow after getting the crossbow? And if so, what was the point? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, the crossbow's and, yeah. way better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it basically, it's it's a slower reload rate, but not that much slower. Yeah. But most importantly, it lets you knock an arrow and move, which yeah, you can't bad. do with the bows. And, and man, the, uh, the, all, all of the patches that Soulfar Studios introduced mm. like within days of the game coming out yeah. uh, just dramatically increased the, the playability. I think one just hit this morning. I, still, I didn't even look at it and see what it was. Oh, for real? Yeah. Uh, the sm smooth turning hit a couple days ago. Uh, before that even was a, was, was a patch to allow just more movement control schemes. It, it, just, it just plays way better than it did on mm. day one. Um, and I got a big, huge shout out to that guy as well, who 
top the leaderboards very quickly. Yeah. Like, just like... Oh, yeah. Easily 20 times my best score. Wow. Uh, he, he totally killed it. I wish I could have seen that, that stream... Yeah, uh, if there was a stream or that video uh, of him getting to that score, That's it must have nuts. been very impressive. Yeah. So proud of you. Uh, Les <laughs> wants to know what game we play when you sneeze into the air. Or sneezes on air. It's What's only that? been like maybe twice, though, in three years. That'd be a rare one. We, we play the I hope Brian's not sick and getting us sick game. Right. <laughs> it's, it's like Russian roulette. <laughs> we never let... You're probably fucked is the answer. we got to get him shocked. I haven't Desra. seen Desra. Desra's never been shocked. I've never the, been shocked. Uh, with oh, that, God. No, that we're, thing. We're, we're not playing that. <laughs> uh, J- Jeremy's, Jeremy's talking about uh, the lightning reaction game that is sitting up on the shelf behind the camera. A less than um, a few others will definitely know. Yeah, there's a few one. people who remember we used to play lightning reaction every single uh, episode. Oh. And uh, it was terrifying yes. to get electrocuted every single episode. Uh, not fun at all. <laughs> to the point no. where like you Pavlovianly like, trained yourself not to want to do the show anymore. Yeah, yeah really. It's, yeah, right? it's, it's like painful, man. Just holding yeah. it in your holding that thing in your hand, waiting, to, waiting. To sh- for the shock. It's just like terrifying. You're shaking, sweating. Yeah, oh. awful. Uh oh. What happened? Uh-oh. That guy's will is playing in my house. He says no stream. A magician never reveals his secrets. Uh, mm. Mm, that is true. Well, and I think that brings us up to this week. Uh, this week yes. we get a few games uh, for, for PlayStation VR as well. So let's let's hit up with the first one, the one we already reviewed. Buttons, buttons, buttons aren't toys. Buttons, I knew Alessa who got the would button? know that. Yes, Alessa, the electro shock. Arca's path. Arca's path uh, from Dream Interactive Studios. I'm just making up words now. Okay. <laughs> um, it's published by Rebellion. Uh, Rebellion's got a pretty good reputation. Mm-hmm. This is uh, this is exactly what it looks like. You're controlling a ball through a maze. Marvel Madness. Okay. Yeah. That's All it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, who's her? Who is she? She looked injured and like, oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. I need help with this ball. There's a story. Yeah. It's uh, I mean, spoilers for my review that's already up. She's mm. like, oh, get this ball through the maze, mm. and my ears will be turn returned to normal size. Yeah, there's just there's just not a lot going on in this game at all. Yeah. Uh, it, you, okay. you just control a cursor with the with the head tracking, and yeah. you tell the ball where to go. Oh, that's uh, it, really. And there's no real. It diffi- doesn't tilt. It, it looks pretty. There's no difficulty. Um, there's no. The puzzle solving is minimal at best. Yeah. Uh, if there's a switch, you hit the switch. If there's a block, you push the block. Uh, and eventually, if you push all the blocks, you find your way. Um, you can fall off the edge. You don't do that very often. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's uh, it's it's super bare bones, and and I don't and I don't get the love for it. Uh, I know some re- places have reviewed it favorably, <laughs> mm-hmm. very favor- favorably. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and this for me, I, I couldn't find any. I, I I had to turn off all the sound. About halfway through. And oh, just, why and would it just, sound like? It's there's, oh God. I, so so there's this like electro electronic music artist. I think his name's Rafferty, um, mm-hmm. and he and he did the soundtrack. I, mean, I don't I don't follow that brand of music, that okay. genre of music. And halfway through the game, I was like, this is just fucking irritating. What? Right? Like electronic music? But it wasn't music. It was like... It was like oh, a really? Nintendo game. Fucking shit the bed. Really? Right? And I was like, okay, chiptune shit just not is not going right here. Huh. Like, it sounded like a broken Nintendo game. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, we're turning this music off. Uh, in, in, the, in the sound of the ball, it goes... Oh, really? I'm just like, what am I? What am I listening to this for? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the sound, listen to some Pink Spiders, listen to some Bright Eyes, watch iCarly, and like, like just kind of like occupy all of my other senses if possible. Well, that's why while, while so I like big. brainlessly proceeded through the other, the rest of the levels. Really? Oh, it was, it was painful. Oh, I got halfway through and just like, I don't want to play this anymore. Yeah. And then I only pushed through so that I could finish the review. And, okay. and be like, because something's got to happen. Yeah. Nothing then, ever happened. Uh, no, it's. Him. Unfortunately, and I, and I feel bad because I know developers are really, really, you know, like, like proud of their work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I and I think what they're proud of is that they created a game that's uh, very high in accessibility. So like. Okay. It looks nice. You, visually, I we, mean, we we talked about the girl who only had one hand who couldn't play Beat Saber. Mm, yeah. Right. Anybody can play this game. You you don't you don't need any hands. Right. Right. You can you can just sit there and have a VR okay. headset on your head and control the whole thing by looking. All right. right? Well, I mean, but that's not nothing. I that, mean, that's not it, nothing. Yeah. But 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 I really hope we get to the point where people who have accessibility issues with mm-hmm. games have better games to play. Yeah, 
yeah. right? Just because everyone can play it doesn't mean everyone should. It's like, hey, you want yeah. one here. You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah, that's not much of a gameplay. Well, I, mean, I, mean, I haven't played it yet. I'm going to hold, uh, hold yeah. a reservation until I give it a try. Um, I mean, but, you've only had yeah. it for two weeks. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> There's been other stuff. What Arca? Yeah, yeah. I just realized that's I, I've had that <laughs> for quite a while too. I know. So the text message I sent you guys last night meant absolutely no, no, nothing. Yeah, but we well, had, but we had to. Yeah, we had do our the day. Other, we had our own homework. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> we should do homework more often together. Gee, what we else came out this week, guys? Oh, <laughs> let's check this one out. Here we go. This one's this one's called Rush. Uh, this Rush. is uh, this this is a wingsuit flying racing game. Not for the faint of heart or scared of heights. <laughs> I'm scared of heights. I'm terrified of heights. And I do have to say, the first time I stepped off the ledge to, yeah. to, to dive down through the rocks, uh, not only did I hit the very first rock I saw, oh. uh, which was not pleasant, but <laughs> but uh, but man, it was intense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this game, uh, don't wait for my review. Just go buy it. It's 25 bucks, and, and man, hopefully, there's a patch that just went up before we started the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and I... And, I think it was uh, addressing some of the online issues I had. Okay. Uh, so the online issues were that like we kept we, we had like eight people playing a game mm-hmm. and we kept like losing connection. People kept dropping right. out and like it was oh. an issue. But like when, when we got the game going, holy crap, was it fun to? Now did it kill the, like if one person dropped out, nope. did it kill it for everybody? No, you still go. Okay. They're just gone. Yeah. And there's, a, there's the cool thing is while you're you're standing in the plane waiting to uh, waiting for the game to start, yeah. you know, you're flying way uh, way above and stuff in the plane. There's like soda cans that you just can grab, and you can just psh, pop them open, and yep. you can like spray them around, or you can, <laughs> or you can like make them kind of float in the air because they're like spraying soda out. Yeah. Um. You there there are like little dart guns that you can like grab and like shoot each other, and, oh, and, and the darts okay. stick to the other people. That's so awesome. if you shoot somebody in the yeah. mask, like I saw like darts all over my mask. <laughs> I was like, so it gives you. Wait, a what did you see? Do they persist? Darts. Darts all over your. Do they mask? persist like when you're playing the game? No, no, no. Like, okay. You, no, no, that's over. When, once you're done goofing <laughs> around, it's uh, the game starts. Um, but but then there's a uh, uh, and there's like a little basketball hoop, you know, it's on each end of the plane. Okay. Know, with, with basketballs around and stuff, and like you know, confetti pops for... out of the hoop if you get Yay. it in. It's just like like in firewall when you're standing around waiting for a game to start. Yeah. You got nothing to do except talk to the other people, right, right. and sometimes that's not a lot of fun. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> so this gives you tons of stuff. So we we were talking. It was I'm trying to remember everybody who was uh, who I was playing with. I was playing mm. with gamer tag, uh, with God Cannon, with I'm, I feel bad. I'm going to lose somebody. Uh, Shughead. Ryan from uh, the VR Grid, Seraphim One Nine Zero. I know I'm forgetting somebody. Yeah. Who am I forgetting? If you if you're in the chat, I forgot <laughs> who I was playing with. Let me know. Um, I haven't done, finished my review. That's why yeah. I haven't seen all the names there. Uh, but but we were just having a blast, man. We were just like laughing hysterically, like just goofing off. The plane is all like looks nice and stuff mm-hmm. when you first get there, and by the time you're ready to jump, it's just a okay. shit house. <laughs> <laughs> like we destroyed that plane every That's single great. time. Shit. Oh, it's it's so much fun, and in and, and the game itself is once you get the controls down, it's, it's just awesome. Uh, Cornerstone. It is not multiplayer only. There is a single player campaign, which is pretty in depth. There's only four like maps but many many different tracks and trials through each one yeah so. uh it's uh so the the, the maps are pretty wide uh, and also obviously very long um but uh but yeah there's i think 20 20 courses through each okay. map uh and then you know like in the in getting bronze silver and gold medals gives you points uh and then eventually that unlocks the further maps it's it took me all day yesterday mm. to just get first place in in the first 20 on the first Wow. Uh, on the first map so like it's going to take you a while to get through yeah. this campaign yeah, yeah. Uh, Fast Eddie Boone how can I be a game cat meow what? you are now a game cat hit like that's it subscribe yeah. there you go and you're you're on board or you can do what Joystick Guru just did and give us a buck or yeah or <laughs> Joystick Guru and also change your name to something the game cat meow can do that too yeah the, the loyalists of the loyalists the fluffiest of the fluffy uh, have changed their YouTube names or Google names uh, so that when they when you type in a comment here it's your name the game cat Oh god, that, that's what how kids yeah. is going to be yeah. next week, isn't it? How about <laughs> the Streets King? When you play Rust, you find yourself looking at the floor in real life the whole time. So this this is one of my issues, right? Yeah. So in in my review, the only the only ding I'm giving this game is that just by the nature of the game itself, yeah, only from here up is actually relevant to what's happening in the game. Yeah. yeah. Like, the rest of me should be, like, flying behind me. Yeah. I was like, I, I want to, like, unfold my couch yeah. and play it, like, laying down. Somebody had asked, can you play it laying down? Yeah, I haven't tried it, but but here's the thing. Having to, like, prop your head up when you're laying down yeah. is going to give you neck pain, like, immediately. Yes. Yeah. Right? So, so yeah, so, so I'm standing there, I got my arms out, and I do find myself looking down slightly. Mm-hmm. But once you've played it for, like, hours... You start like sort of acclimating to the whole experience, yeah. and I start playing it more like I'm Superman. 
Okay. Yeah. Right, doing this, uh, more like the Megaton Rainfall guy. Yeah. You know, who's kind of standing and flying like this. Yeah. Mm. So it's a lot more like that. Um, and after a while, it does feel more natural. But at okay. the beginning, man, it does, you're like, just, there's no way to get my legs and the rest of my body where it needs to be. Hot tip, turn on a fan. Full blast. <laughs> Full blast, turn on a fan. It and it is immersive. so much better. Yeah, for sure. So this is going on. Uh, Kona VR is telling us that, I'm sorry, Matt Cow is telling us the Kona VR bundle is only $8. Nice. And then uh, PSVR Underground. Hey. 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 No, he was saying Texaco, Texo. Uh, they just wrote me back and said they are aware of it. Looks like they'll, they're will they still publishing. Oh, yeah. There was a comment that like the, the link to the um, to Rush in the store was not working. Oh, He's going to post the video of you guys chilling in the lobby after the show. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, apparently, my voice wasn't, wasn't being shared. Uh, so I'm there talking. Just you can't hear me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of nice. Nobody wants to hear your voice anyways, Brian. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I hate that guy's voice. Almost as much as I hate his haircut. Almost as much as I hate myself. I know. That's why I'm spending my time writing <laughs> negative comments on YouTube. He's so goddamn attractive. I hate him. Whoa. You know? Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Well, that's what he's really thinking, Brian. So what are you doing later, Jeremy? And his voice. Ooh, yeah. Brian. Should I? I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Just, just some rumblings. Yeah. Uh, also coming out this week. Met Cat. Hit record. <laughs> this week we also got... Prison Boss. Prison Boss VR. Prison People boss. keep talking about that. Is this like Kick Boss? I no. want to see what this is. Today Boucher presents. I just like the name. Today Boucher. It's, it's very, very French. The music, the character models, everything is just like so French cartoon. It's not even funny, man. Le Prison Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, and it, so it's all it's all about crafting it's all about it's all about you can craft cigarettes and, and I think uh, alcohol and stuff and like all sorts of stuff to like to trade and sell or whatever and uh, and you have to you have to hide all this stuff um, from the prison from the prison guards okay uh, so that you don't lose all the stuff you collected and uh, and, and even the money like you you, you yeah. gain a ton of money and you have to hide the money um, I haven't played it yet it, it, I, when I first saw this listed on the drop I was like oh God, I can't believe another crappy game I have to review. Well, you can play as Andy Dufresne, and you think it's bad. <laughs> and, and then I saw the trailer, and I was like, "Oh, I was totally wrong. This looks yeah. this looks like a lot of fun." Talk about cell shading. Uh, I think I think this looks nice. The Great Escape. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there's a demo oh. for it, huh? Prison Break. Hey, Chris Abiyik. Chris Abiyik uh, just gave us a 199 quid because we're cool. Uh, donation. Thank you. Support these amazing people on Patreon.com. Yes, do thank that. You, thank you so much, Chris Abiyik. <laughs> The game cat. Wow. Very Mikey's doing it in for a while today. Work if he's, is work slow, Mikey. If he's giving us he's, that money on YouTube and then telling other people to pay on Patreon. Dude, I don't mind yeah. when people double dip, <laughs> right? Yeah. We'll take it where we can get it. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, Humpty Dumpty Solo Vision did look like the Cell Guard. I and, think everyone's Humpty Dumpty in this game. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't look down. I mean, I kind of like the to look down and see your body. Emojis right? on uh, your fucking laptop. So let's see. I'm I'm curious because uh, I'm, I'm I'm oh shit. Some, somebody said there was a prison boss demo. DDG, mm -hmm. one of his uh, one of his rubber bands just snapped on his headset. Has that ever happened to anybody else? Rubber uh, band? Yeah, for his yeah. probably oh, just, it's, oh. It's stretchy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't. I, no, my head's not that big. I guess if you're still on under warranty, you can probably get that replaced. Yeah. There's no prison boss demo, not here in the states at least. No. Yeah. Um, I mean, not on. The, not I searched for prison boss on the store, and it's not there. No. There's a demo on the Australian store. Ah. Australia. Every 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 everything in Australia is is better, but also more expensive. Yeah. A little yeah. sandy. I wonder if that's just a an, like a mis misconceived perception of Australia. Uh, ask Seraphim. Seraphim, is it sandy everywhere? I know no. that the scenes I've seen of him. Yeah. There's Sandy when you ran to that tent with the cord. <laughs> you know, those days. Sean Wax uh, gave us $2 Canadian. I, I think I did. Which is like $500 up. American at this point. Um, I need some active VR friends. Sean Wax one, add me up. Hey. Oh, and just incredible. Nice. $10 donation. Back to work for me. Keep up the hard work, boys. Thank you. The guys, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I can I can eat today. <laughs> and seriously, yeah. thank you, Sean. Thank you, Just Incredible. Uh, yeah, add Sean Wax. Definitely. Just Incredible, of course. One of one of our two the top multiplayer friends. Yes, yeah. Yep. Thank you so much for that. And actually, uh, this um, this has just been kind of happening a lot. I don't know if it's because the channel's getting more popular. People are trying to friend me on Facebook, and while I totally appreciate that, I try to keep my Facebook to just like friends and family. If you want to friend me on the PlayStation Network or follow me on Twitter and all that, that's my more public persona stuff. But don't feel bad if I don't add you on Facebook because that's kind of my my my. My okay. people. If we're yeah. gonna go down this, uh, yeah. if we're gonna go down this conversation, then uh, let's. If you, if, yeah. if 
I accept all friend requests everywhere. Okay. Right? So I'm on Snapchat. I'm on fucking Facebook, yeah. Instagram. I don't use Instagram. I should. Um, and, and I accept everybody on every single social network. Um, but if you add me as a friend on the PlayStation network, yeah. please do me a favor. I don't... I've, I've got my notifications off. Yeah. But every time I check my notifications, I have 50 notifications and mm. 25 of them are from people asking me to play a game. Uh, right. Like, yeah. like, like, you know, like, and just, I, I can't. Like, yeah. I will let you guys know when I'm able to play a game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, so seldom. Like once a week for like two hours. Yeah. I have time to play Firewall or something. Yeah. Um, and so, so just, like, just, unfortunately, I just can't do that. Um, so, so reserve your, reserve your requests. Yeah. Uh, for, for the time that <laughs> right. we, we designate. We should like come up with a time of like, oh, this is when. Well, we got, we got a, we got a yeah. comment, right, about, about a Patreon meetup. I mean, oh no, it's it's fine. That like I don't I don't want anyone to feel bad. I just don't I don't want you feeling bad because I didn't accept you as a friend. Like it's not that I ignored he does you. Does accept like you. you, right? If you want to like, for me, everything else but Facebook, absolutely follow me, and I'll, I'll follow like Twitter. If you follow me, I will follow you back. Unless you're obviously a spam bot, um, Instagram, etc. All those other things. Just Facebook is my one. Yeah, that's that's my, that's where I. Duran D- Duran fan writes Brian even has a chat room on AOL. The dude is everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> and not that anybody's asking. Yeah, because I I don't, <laughs> but I don't have Facebook. I never did. Or a second move controller. I do. Somebody donated me. Yeah, one. that was me two years ago. <laughs> I donated it to you two years ago. <laughs> um, but I only have. What do I have? Well, you made me get Twitter before we started the podcast. I did. I was like, no. we all have to have a Twitter account. Hey, also that guy as will get a goddamn Twitter account. <laughs> Okay, we have to include you in things. You need a Twitter account. I just yeah. tweet out a lot of uh, Madman's. Oh, hey, James Kennedy. does Kennedy. it all good. And, and Dez's. Welcome to the family. Uh, just got PSVR. So happy to watch your videos. Hey, thank you. Yes. Thanks for thanks for tolerating things like this. Right. <laughs> uh, so that yeah, I think that pretty much uh, I think yeah. that pretty much gets us. Oh no, you're saying media. rec room meetup. Uh, so, yeah. So yeah. so somebody suggested on Twitter that um, because we've been talking about a real life meetup yeah right yeah. like let's get with that pro group together and let's go meet some of the with some of the game cats oh, yeah. in real life yeah. you know I feel like I know Joe Monahan I feel like I, I know, know Mikey right? Sensei I feel yeah. like I know JD yeah. like, I feel like I know all of these people but I don't actually know any of you like right. in person yeah uh, which is strange because I feel like I they're my friends yeah. right right um, so we, we thought a, a real life meetup would be awesome mm. but, uh, but 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 something on and I, and I apologize for not knowing who it is off the top of my head um, yeah, th- thank quick. you uh, suggested that we do a rec room meetup. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of like doing things in rec room as it's like the a, same as like I, I don't I don't multiply. like doing interviews and that kind of thing yeah. in rec room. It just feels like it just kind of has a generic look to it. Mm. Um, but you know if that's if that's the best way we can do a virtual meetup, and I think it is at this point. Yeah. Then then by all means maybe we should do like a monthly, you know, hour meetup. Jump in, hang out. Yeah, absolutely. And even if only like one or two of us. Lethal can make Weasel. It. Lethal Weasel. Yes. Lethal, Lethal Weasel, Weasel VR. VR. Yep. Um, there he is. Thank you for the suggestion. And uh, oh, he started to participate in the VR community. Uh, so, so that that is a thing we're looking into. Uh, it's going to be only for Patreon supporters because there's 27,000 subscribers um, and just a couple hundred Patreon supporters. So we're able yeah. to limit it a lot better when it comes yeah. to Patreon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the, 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 what I said there is like that sounds like a neat idea. Just I know for my schedule it is like I could not make that a regular thing. Yeah. It's going to be so schedule dependent for me. So well, I think that's it. It's like yeah. like so with the first month, you know, I mean, maybe Jeremy and I find an hour where we can jump in. Yeah. And then yeah. next month, maybe you guys find an hour yeah. where we can jump in or whatever. You know, mm. it's like it, it'll be on our schedule. Yeah. And whoever can make it, awesome. Right. Monday or Thursday nights, we could do it. Maybe there we go. Not me. <laughs> you know, it's, I absolutely can't. Well, we'll, but. <laughs> this is this this is uh, these are things we will discuss yeah. in yeah. private and get back to you. But that is something that is definitely in the works. So thank you, Michael <laughs> Weasel, for suggesting it. Yeah, and Bridge Crew yes, is on the ground. Metcat keeps trying to friend me on Tinder. <laughs> Tinder says PSV. <laughs> He keeps trying to friend me on Grinder, which is really strange. <laughs> I didn't know I had a Grinder account. All right, next up we have Mikey has suggestions for you, Bri. Hit him up after. All right, I think Mikey's got some suggestions for sure. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'll hit him up on Grinder. The Phantom Thieves are back. <laughs> All oh. right, this is Persona Five and Persona Three Dancing Collection, Dancing in Starlight, Dancing in Moonlight. Uh, these are not full VR games. Just uh, dancing in the moonlight. <laughs> just FYI, uh, these are these are straight up flat screen non VR games. With VR modes, yeah. Um, these I, I hate the games with just VR modes. It's like mm. I, I don't think Persona Dancing is a is, is a taxing game on the system. Yeah, there's yeah. no way that they couldn't have implemented the entire game in VR. But 
the fact is for hardcore Persona fans, I think this is actually going to be something that they'll enjoy because yeah. this is one of those things where you can actually, you know, one, once you're friends with one of the characters, you go to their dressing room and like, you know, do, dance with them. I, I don't know. Check out their dance moves and like play dress up and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I haven't checked it out myself, but I think people who love Persona are going to love this. Yeah. Right. Uh, I, I just canceled my pre-order for the, for the collection mm-hmm. yeah. uh, because I thought a hundred dollars was a little bit too much to spend uh, on. Well, it's, it's three games basically. For oh, okay. Bucks. Um, because the collection comes with Persona 3 and 5 Dancing, and also, oh. I believe, the Vita game, 4 Dancing. Damn. Dancing All Night. Oh, wow, so I only knew there... I didn't realize there were two more after that first one. I didn't realize this was Well, there are like now the three Persona Dancing games. Yeah. Yeah. And, wow. Uh, I think and if there's another one, I wouldn't be surprised. I know she thought, initially thought that was an odd idea when they first said, we're going to release a dancing game <laughs> in the Persona. Apparently, it's, like I have... The one on Vita, yeah, and I haven't ha- had a chance to play it because how do you play yeah. a dancing? Game? Oh, just button pressing, that, and that's all this is too. Oh, yeah, really? Yep. Oh. So I'm, I'm, you know, obviously very curious about it, but apparently the storylines are really good in these games. Oh, yeah. All right. So like, you know, again, for the hardcore Persona fans, this is going to be something that you'll enjoy. We get some really weird comments on this week, yeah, about people being like, "I'm kind of homosexual," and I'm like, "Well, what is? I, I had it pre-ordered." Kablock! So, <laughs> right? What the game? Yeah. What does it matter? Yeah, exactly. And like, like you know, what, like uh, you guys don't get us, do you? Yeah. <laughs> pe- people who people who can't Doesn't enjoy matter. games because they're fun. It's like yeah. You know, I don't know. Move along. Move Not along. Not everything is for you. Yep. Uh, and what that's else okay. we got? Um, so this is interesting. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We uh, let's see. We already did Arcus Path. We already did Rush. We already mm-hmm. did Prison Both. We did Rush. Rush. Prison Both. Oh, uh, bring it back to Paul Abdul. Shit. You, you, you good? Yeah. Well. I, all of a sudden, 17 messages just came through for oh. the significant other. You want to check that? No. I'm it, sound, just, it sounds important. <laughs> she's at work. She just started her new job yesterday. So. She's like, I Uh-oh. just got fired been fired. my new yeah. job. Right. I highly doubt that. Ago. Yeah. I've been texting you every minute. Right. I need a ride. Yeah. Oh, they this, took this, my car. This video must be so ironic. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> I had a video of you ignoring my messages. <laughs> No, she doesn't want. She doesn't want to do this. <laughs> I think later in the week. Um, I, I don't have the dates on all these, but I want to say Thursday or Friday. Uh, Guns and Stories. Great game. Check, check. Oh, there's our microphones. Man, there we go. Pfft. Oh, that, that I, I, got, I, got all, I got all the ads working this week, or all the uh, the trailers working this right. week, but I don't yeah. have the microphones working on all of them. This is my jam, man. So, so oh. okay. So here's the interesting thing about this game. Yeah. This is uh, that gun looks like the gun from. Oh, what the fuck game is that? Farpoint. No, no. No, was that steampunky one? Right. <sighs> no. Maybe. I. I uh, maybe a PS2 or PS3 game. Killzone Resistance. It's a resistance gun. Is it a resistance gun? I think so. But so okay. So here's the thing: the, this entire game, a wave shooter, yeah. is being there's like a narrative being delivered. It's like this grand grandfather telling his grandson or something, like back in the old days, blah blah blah, and you're telling the story. And, and, and while you're playing, the story is being told. Oh, that's kind of neat. And uh, and 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 so you so there you are, and you're, and you're and you're fighting. You know, you get a couple of revolvers or something, and. Uh, and, and, and then he goes, oh, wait, no, I was wrong. They were machine guns. And then poof, suddenly oh, that's machine cool. guns. Yeah, that's neat. You know, or, or like the kid goes, well, that can't be right. That doesn't make any sense. He's like, oh, that's right. And then like things change based on the story. That's, oh, that's told. nifty. And so it's supposed right. to be really funny and, uh, and, and, you know, a different take, thank God, on the wave shooters. Well, that was like, that was one of the greatest scenes. Not that there was only one. There's many in Princess Bride. Yeah. That when he stopped yeah. reading and knew- he talked and he gets back and he's catching up to it, you know, like yeah. I know you. I knew we were getting an episode then? of Games Cast Live without some old movie <laughs> reference. He didn't have to. He I died mean, recently, <clears throat> the author and the writer that. Uh, yes. I forget um, his name. I. Oh my gosh, I should know this too. Somebody will tell but, us. William Goldman. There, there, yeah. there you go. Um, but anyhow, yeah, that seems, uh, seems like it could be fun based off of that. Is it, is it, uh, do you actually move forward, or is it just waves? I think it's just waves. Okay. I, I, I think it's a traditional wave shooter in terms of how it plays. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, they mix it up with some goofiness. A space nice. shooter game, the game cat says the sound is muffled or something right now. Uh-oh. For Uh-oh. everybody or just you? Oh, hold on a second. Uh, he, here's the thing. I, every, everything's broken. How about that? That, that might be better. Is that better? Oh, uh, is that the background of the uh, video? I, 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 don't, I don't honestly know how There's dials. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, so, like, I think my computer has a microphone on it, and accidentally yeah. that gets turned on on occasion. Oh, okay. And so sometimes it's these mics and that mic at the same right. time, 
and uh, and I think that's why sometimes that people can hear us at the beginning. Yeah. Because the mic on my computer is running. Is on. Oh, okay. It's, it, I I I don't know. I don't know yeah. how to do this. I just found out my computer had a touch screen last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah <that's laughs> true. That, was, that was a moment. Caught on film. Yeah, that was embarrassing. If we ever do like a best of, folks, <laughs> someone has to remember that. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so so this is this is interesting. Uh, apparently, red matter. Let's let's play the trailer for this. Okay. Like I have a choice. Oh, Brian. Okay, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> Red Matter is uh, supposed to come out in European territories this week, like later this week. Okay. Uh, if it's not already out, God, God only knows how this is working. Dordi uh, Bassa, thank you. Loved the Jeremy Bryan show a couple of weeks ago. No offense to Des, just a true or false from perfection. Oh, nice. You're welcome. Dordi Bassa. I feel like I feel like we used to hear Dordi Bassa comments all the time. Yeah. yeah. So 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 if we haven't seen you for a while. Thanks for thanks for uh, you know chiming in. Yeah. It's your song, Dirty Bossa Nova. What do I mean? Uh, but but Red, Red Matter, uh, it's funny because I, I, I contacted developers and I was like, guys, what's up with your game? I hear it might be coming to European territories this week. Yeah. And they and they responded saying, yeah, it might. <laughs> they like they, they really like they weren't getting the word from Sony. Like you know they oh, like, okay. didn't didn't know if it had passed uh, you know certification, quality assurance, and stuff. Um, mm-hmm. So they were like, so it, it very possibly. Yeah. It might be next week. It might be the week after, uh, but it might be this week. You might have it downloaded in your PSN now. It, who knows? <laughs> and so, uh, and, and so, I was like, "Well, what about the North American release?" And they said, "Yeah, well, in a couple of weeks. Okay. <laughs> you know, we'll, see, <laughs> we'll get it when we can." Kind yeah. of thing. All right. Uh, so one Good of those, one of those rare occasions where the European guys get it first. Yeah. You know, some of those guys. Who's who said we get a comment recently on this week saying that somebody in uh, in Europe is still waiting for Hop Along the Badlands. Really? I was like, that's fucking insane that that game is not out there yet right it's, it's yeah. been like four months maybe they just don't think there's enough of a market to make it worth it maybe it didn't sell well enough yeah uh, i don't know but or, or maybe it's just maybe they're just having a harder time passing european certification hmm. maybe fucking insane insanity uh, and for everyone waiting for home sweet home it's coming 2019 don't worry <laughs> early 2019 is right around the corner it's like another yeah. month or two yeah actually that reminds me someone uh, earlier was asking about the uh racket fury I yeah. got it right. First yeah. time. Uh, multiplayer. Shrug. I don't know. They said before, by the end of the year, and that's coming close. Yeah, but, it, I mean, the game only came out, like, a month or two ago. Yeah. And so, like, to the fact that it's the beginning of December. Yeah. Like, yeah. Give, give them till the end of December. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's right. Right. a few weeks. Right. So they, they, were, they were basically giving themselves a two- or three-month window. So yeah. give them the whole window. Yeah. Right. right. But I will be all over that when it becomes multiplayer. Right? Oh, I will, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to kick your ass. <laughs> or, or, or vice versa. Yeah. All right. What do you guys think? It's time to begin the show we, the way we begin every show. Sure. An hour in. <laughs> Uh, with a little game of should we or shouldn't we win? We put 90 seconds up on the clock, put the clock up on the counter the way that... Me? The way that Jeremy likes it. What's this? And it's our t- it's our time, our time down here, to tell you, the loyal game cats, wow. whether you should or should not be watching and or playing the things that we've been watching and or playing. Who would it like to go first? Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry. I almost I lost the whole table there. Jeremy, yeah. Uh, on your mark. Straight now. Get set. And go. go. So uh, you don't get to say go. Oh, I um, I played five point. Five point <laughs> with Dez today. Woo. Dezra. Yeah, he hey, might. He's I probably got more games to talk about than I do. But we played, and I uh, haven't played since uh, I'd say right around when the game launched. Mm-hmm. So I started con- charging my uh, controller last yeah. night, and I had some technical difficulties getting in there and getting the my uh, aim controller to be recognized mm. um, but then we got that squared away we started to play we did um, some co-op yep. and it was pretty fun yeah, I was yeah. enjoying the co-op and so you're saying even your PlayStation was like Jeremy you don't play games yeah right <laughs> yeah. don't kid me with this right. what are you per- peripheral hooked up here PlayStation's like I've never seen this before I know <laughs> I cannot recognize this so um, we played um, co-op was pretty fun I, I um. walked off of a cliff um, on accident. Yeah. After a while, it's my only time dying. Right? Oh, yeah, well, it wasn't immediately. Yeah, I, yeah. I had like three or four times. Yeah, three and Jeremy's always there to kind of, all right, Des. Yeah, so there back. I was all right. But then we did some, com- you know, multiplayer against each other. And, 1v1. Uh, one death match. Yeah. And uh, let's just say the first match was first to 10 wins, and um, he, clean sweep, clean sweep. I'm like, what are these things? You stand there and enemies spawn, so... When you and I played, I don't believe there was that, where there's these areas where you stand on them for a few seconds, some sort of a creature meter kind of fills up, and then that enemy is released onto your person you're against. Uh, I mean, that, I mean, 
the versus was that there the versus day the, one. Oh God, no! All right, oh, no, it was so. months so and months later. Totally, yeah. Okay, yeah, it was <laughs> it was a huge update. Yeah, yeah you know, but yeah, no. He used he used those to his advantage <laughs> very well. And uh, you have to. Yeah, he yeah. won. It's like basically spawning an army to fight for you. I yeah. had a lot of um, tracking issues. It's one hundred percent my window, pl- uh, the window placement, not my VR placement. You should change the place of your windows. I really right. should move yeah. those fucking windows. I should just move. But either way, I had a good time. It was fun. It was. We all know five points. Or should we? Um, mm. So I did that, and you know, rush played rush too. But my ninety seconds is up. Uh, right. I only played rush one. Oh, Ooh. I pre- I mean, also, mm. me and Neil Pert are like this. <laughs> Desra, yes, on your mark, get set. Go. Well, that's a coincidence because this morning I played Far Point with Jeremy. That's, you did. Wow. Hey. That's so strange. Yeah, um, but no, it, it was it was great multiplayer, and I think so. My my should we Far Point is obviously a should we, but I think my my recommendation to people is, you know, go back and try some of the games. Like for those of you who've been had the PSVR for a while now, go try some of the older games again because you're gonna find like Jeremy did. Oh, I haven't played this since launch. Holy crap, multiplayer is totally different. Yeah. You know, there's um, you know, the kind of like. Our thing with the uh, uh, discussion channel is exactly that: going back and telling you all the updates, all the things that happened and changed. But there's games we haven't gotten to yet, so uh, yeah, uh, definitely highly recommend. Although I will say this was my first time playing multiplayer, and uh, Jeremy was a much better sport because my very first time I just did some random person, you know, the, the quick match. I'm like, hey, how you doing? He's like, great. You play it. It's my first time playing this. Let's go. I killed him twice in the first 30 seconds and then just rage quit he just quit on me <laughs> yeah oh. if, if somebody said this is my first time playing then yeah. demolished me I'd get out of it. well he was just standing still be like you know uh, fuck this guy it was like he was just standing there like he's doing nothing like, All right. what button is it and he's trying to look yeah. under the headset you know? well he was a level 5 so oh, I think really? it was just he was annoyed that he was losing which was not. then I, I met another is player level 5 high I don't know. I don't think so I don't know. Um, but yeah so, so far point is a definitely should be for this week uh, the other should we all throw in is um i don't know that, that's it that's um that's it. yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I i mean i don't know watch the hulu uh decorating disney thing that was really cool was it was it vr or was it 3d or, or was it, it uh, 360 it, it was neither of those things it was just on hulu oh uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> just i don't know that, that, I, that's very that's where i learned this which you'll understand tomorrow yeah, yeah i yeah. watched an, a netflix movie i forget the name of it uh, hmm. Netflix. Huh? I feel like I watched it's Paul a bunch Rudd of stuff and some week. guy I don't know the name of. They two gay lovers. One of them's like oh, a, a chef of a show, and one of them's like the director, Paul Rudd. And then the chef guy's grandson, unbeknownst to them, he didn't know, is now part of their lives. Oh, I thought it was wicked funny. I loved it. That was great. I, yeah. Oh, and I'll throw a Russian there too. I did play a little bit of that right before we filmed. And Brian, what have you been playing yeah. or watching? <laughs> On your mark. I, I love that. Like you're like going into depth about this about this movie, and you don't even know the name of it. You get to should we? But I yeah. don't even know the yeah. name. I could look. I, I forget the you name could, of it. But whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Justin right. Observer, you haven't finished Raw Data because it is not finished. <laughs> so he is quite an observer. I know he just said he hasn't finished it's Raw Data. Observed. Yet. Oh, he hasn't yes. finished. Yes. It. yes, and I said because it isn't finished, you cannot finish it. It just yeah. Is that a spoiler? <laughs> Did you just do a Jeremy? No, it's oh. just no. It's just the game is very obviously there is more to come and it has not come yet. So when you beat the game, realize you don't really beat it. <laughs> you no, no spoilers it? though. I think I got to the end. Didn't I, didn't know, I didn't even know you played Wait, Raw Data. No, am I thinking of something else? You're, I think you're thinking of something else. I don't think you've ever played Raw Data. Okay, I might be thinking of something else. Then. Never mind. <laughs> you're thinking uh, of Chip and oh, Dale's no, it's, Rescue Rangers. Um, oh gosh, they all blend together now. It's with that movie Mortal Blitz. Watched. Mortal Blitz is what I'm thinking. Wow, of. yeah, you're way yes, off. Yes, I am way off. Not even close. All right, never mind. Uh, raw data, awesome choice. Yes. Uh, yeah, we should we should probably check on the PlayStation sales, see if anything's uh, on sale. But I'll do that after my ninety seconds on my mark. Get set and go. go. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about Rush VR. Rush is Rush is pretty fantastic. Um, yeah. I think I, I I do think it nails uh, a good sense of speed. Mm-hmm. Um, I did you did you experience any motion sickness? You only did like two runs. Oh, yeah, but. did you? Um, I didn't yet, but that's that's not a long. Wasn't long enough for me yeah. to to know if I would. So even that smooth glide like that would that cause nausea for you? Um, uh, sorry, I saw something in the chat that's weird. Um, no, I, I don't know. Like eagle flight, I kind of got over. So I don't know. Maybe it's the same mental muscle that's happening. I don't know. But I, I, I really, I'm not going to, I don't want to say it. No, I, I didn't get sick because I only played it for yeah. a minute and a half. It's not like I spent a long time with it. So, 
I, I, it was one of those games, like, when I was playing To the Top, I was like, oh, yeah, I, like, I don't think anyone will get sick when they play this. Yeah. Uh, when I was playing this, I was like, oh, somehow they've, I feel like they've worked their way around motion sickness. I was like, I don't think people are going to get sick when they play this. Yeah, it's, um, people could, are getting better at it. I, I could be wrong. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, but I love I love the sense of speed, and I, and I think it gets better the more you play it, because once you nail it, and there's so many control options. You can play it even yeah. flight style. Yeah. You can play it sitting down and just, like, tilt your head, or you can turn your head, or you can use the analog stick. I mean, there are an infinite number Every of ways way. to play this. Yeah. Uh, any way you can think of, they've nailed um, no aim support. Sorry, um, but there's a uh, but but you get to the point where like you are you, you you hit that boost and then you just like you always like glide really close to the ground or you're always grazing like the edge of a wall or a cliff or whatever. Mm. Ah. But you get to I'm just gonna talk anyway. Yeah. You, you get you guys like took half my time. Yeah. Um. But but you get to the point where like you are boosting through the entire stage yeah and it, and it just feels incredible because you're watching the meter go down and then like i get closer to the ground and like the grass is coming flying at your yeah, face and you're yeah. like i'm really close <laughs> to the ground and the meter's going back up right and it's extending the boost and i'm like yeah. this is so incredible yeah. to, to 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 just be flying as fast as you possibly can it's like burnout for as long concept. As, that's exactly what it is every yeah. risk you know just keep and eventually yeah because i remember you as i was playing you're like oh you boost and i'm like what yeah. And they were telling me if the more risk, in a yeah. sense, the more boost. And so I'm guessing you have to keep that up the whole time to even get close to the leaderboards. Uh, yeah. yeah, for the most yeah. part, uh, for the lead because there are online leaderboards. There, there's there's time trials. There's score attack. Um, there, are, uh, you know, tons of different tons of different uh, single player things to do. Um, crap, I was gonna say about that. I don't know. But oh, I will say the one thing that took me a little while to get used to, as far as as far as Rush goes, is that unlike every other racing game I've ever played, mm -hmm. uh, like one little crash takes you out of the game. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's like you well, know, you, oh, yeah. Tree, yeah. Trees are real, trees by the way. Are, trees are real. They're not just rocks. A, I landed yeah. flat uh, on the ground, and the voiceover told me to walk it off. Which <laughs> I think we need to talk about this because I have no idea. Hulu has VR content. Yep. Okay, this is the this is the first I know about it. Oh yeah. Like like three D like, VR or just three hundred and sixty? I don't know. They, hmm. they have a they have a, a VR theater. Okay. That you can sit in, uh, and uh, and I think there is some VR content. I think it's a lot of three hundred and sixty videos though. So yeah. that's on the, the Hulu app on the PlayStation. Yeah. All right. I haven't yeah. downloaded that yet, so I'll have to give it a try. Yeah. Do you yeah. have Do you have Hulu? I do. Huh? I have the Hulu. How do you have Hulu? And not have it on your PlayStation. Because I use the Xbox for every, all the streaming media. The, my, my 360 is my I do too. media device. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Well, because I don't want the kids using the, the PlayStation. Currently accepting applications for games cast hosts. No, <laughs> the, the Xbox is, is good for streaming services. Right. Yeah. Do you want and my the kids playing with the PlayStation? For video uh, games. No, okay. I just, I just want somebody playing with the PlayStation and then talking <laughs> about it here. <laughs> that's all I ask. I don't ask very much. Uh... All right, guys. Uh, so that that pretty much takes care of uh, should we or shouldn't we for the week? Star Wars Disney Hotel. Oh my god! Oh, no, I did not this see that. This is going to be nuts. Yeah. It's in development now, being <laughs> erected yeah. as we speak. The whole Star Wars section. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Really? Yep. Um, so Brian's checked out now. So we guess we can talk about this. Uh, this isn't a hotel. <laughs> or this is in Disneyland. Uh, uh, Disney World and Disneyland. For real? Um, yeah. The, it's going to be themed. So like, you don't. You know, you check in. You're not. Jeremy King, your whatever, a bounty hunter, like, and like Dan's all, Doe, La Hala, and whatever. Apparently, all like the staff are going to be in character too. And really, yeah, it's it's probably going to be stupid. Does expensive. the hotel look like mm -hmm. really? Yeah, yeah. Why didn't they think of this like fucking twenty years ago? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're done. I gotta check that, Brian. Do we have a trailer Wait, when the new hotel? When Disney finally. By oh. Sony, then we're away. Does he not glow? Stuff. It glows too much. Oh wow! Because it looks so good in person, but it looks like just like a huge. It does look light. so good in person. Where'd you get that? <laughs> uh, GameStop. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, GameStop's where I first saw them. Yeah. Uh, but then, uh, but then on Amazon had them like five dollars cheaper. They're only ten bucks a pop. Really? Yeah, the Super Mario World one is actually oh, my favorite. Oh, that does cool. one. Pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a there's a Pip Boy behind you, Jeremy. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so uh, let's Matt Cat to be new host, and that wasn't Matt Cat saying it. Who was that? Cornerstone City Seven 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 is voting for Metcat to be the new host. Can we can, can we get a female up in this piece, man? <laughs> we do need a female. Yeah. yeah. Ever since Michelle's absence, there's been a gaping hole in our female. There's been uh, no gaping hole in our. Oh my cat. god! I knew it. I did just. <laughs>
You know, it, it, it was my fault. <laughs> I'm going to take responsibility for that one. Uh, Sometimes, see what happens? And that's I didn't even why know why I said that. It coast. came out, and I'm like, God damn it. No, I, there was a comment recently about our sense of humor uh, yeah. on one of our older videos. Mm-hmm. We won't go into depth about it. Um, and, you know, because we, I think we were way cruder back in the day. Yeah. Uh, Michelle and, days or further? It, I mean... You, it was gradual, right? Oh uh, yeah. You know, like from, from the the very first days, uh, I, I think were the worst. When we were least, yeah. least yeah. viewer when, wise. When no, when no one was watching, I think we were we were pretty crude. Uh, and but I think as as the channel grows, we become more professional. Yes. With you know, with the, the growth time. of the yeah. channel. Yeah. Uh, not I don't I don't think that really applies to you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets edited out. Yep. 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 Remember those days? Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember those thing days. Uh, all right, guys, uh, let's let's talk a little bit about some of the news that happened this week. I think. Uh, oh, for anyone, yeah. she's female. Pick her. Okay. Hey, oh. all right. For, for anyone in the chat, I don't know. For anyone, cool. Come come audition, or or just send your applications without parole at gmail dot com. Um, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Jeremy would love a day off. You'll get twice my <laughs> paycheck. Uh, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> all right. So uh, so interestingly enough. With the PlayStation experience being canceled this yeah. month, yeah, yeah. Uh, and with Sony backing out of E3 next year, are they even a company anymore at this point? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, let's, let's hope so, because holy crap, man, a lot of a lot of VR stuff on the way. Their kind, marketing people must be terrified right now. Kind of funny is apparently picking up the slack. Really? Uh, although, of course, of course, the, I had this window open and I don't know where it yeah. went. Um, so. Here we go. We're gonna to go to upload VR and read their content straight from the source because I don't have this prepared. Um, <clears throat> PlayStation uh, Jamie Felton uh, upload VR writes: mm-hmm. PlayStation VR fans might want to pencil next week's kind of funny games cast showcase into their diaries. Yep, our friends over at Kind of Funny are running their own press conference style showcase on December eighth at ten a.m. Pacific. To fill in for PlayStation's Experience Show, which is taking a break this year. But most importantly, the team's Greg Miller recently confirmed on Twitter that there will be PSVR announcements at the show. Hmm. Exactly what these could be, we're not sure yet, but definitely tuning in to find out uh, with Sony, blah, 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 blah. Is that with Sony's blessing? <clears throat> it was like Sony's... Oh, yeah. They, yeah. yeah I think uh, kind of funny. Uh, kind of funny, of course, you know, had their start on Podcast Beyond, on IGN. Right. As like the premier PlayStation podcast yeah and uh and so and so these guys have always been leading the playstation charge right. they kind of they dropped the ball a bit when it comes to playstation vr yeah uh, but it, so it's nice to see them picking up the yeah. slack again uh in in, in sort of oh. interesting doing their ian thing. meister recently came across the page due to getting a psvr love the reviews keep right. them up welcome to the family yes do my best man do my best sacrificing sleep for all of you <laughs> Uh, so that is awesome, guys. So keep that in mind. Uh, so that is next week. That is, that is d- mere days away. Wow. Nice. Uh, so keep it in mind, and uh, we'll, we'll be paying close attention to that. I'm sure we're breaking news reports. I'm uh, just wondering, is that going to be their strategy now? Like reaching out to streamers and YouTubers? Like, we're not going to do like, our big them. thing anymore. We're going to let these people with their own audiences do it already. I, I, do, I do feel like that is the, uh, the, the possibly the Seems beginning. like it now, right? The beginning of, of Sony revealing what their their new plans are. Mm. They're backing out of E3, backing out of the PlayStation Sounds experience. This shit that costs a ton of money. Like Joe Monahan was saying, yeah, at least millions for oh, sure. Yeah. You there's know? no way it wouldn't. Well, yeah. There's a worst for that. It's called AstroTurf. So grassroots campaign is when we, the users, are like, oh, we want this. AstroTurf is when they go out and say, hey, you guys talk about this. You guys talk about this. You guys talk about this. Yeah. So yeah, what I'm saying yeah, is, why didn't I get a phone call, Sony? Huh. Also, speaking of they kind of funny, a bird. It's going to arrive soon. Carrier pigeon. Yeah, to Dez's house. The message. Speaking of kind of funny, I do want to give a shout out to Curtis Dillon on Twitter um, mm-hmm. at Curtis Dillon, who, who writes, who writes, "Hey, at Tim Gettys and at Game Over Greggy, when are you going to have at that would be dark from PSVR without parole on Kind of Funny Gamescast? Heck yeah, a year in review show about PSVR would be awesome. Yeah. So, uh, so thank you for that." Um, for that shout out on Twitter, yes, uh, I, I would absolutely love. I've been in contact with Greg Miller a few times throughout the course of the year. I met him, uh, or course of the years, let's say. Yeah. It's not like we're friends or anything. I don't want to put that yeah. the wrong message. Um, but I've met him a few times at, at like meetups. I've always been a huge Beyond fan, a mm. kind of funny fan, um, and uh, and I would absolutely love nothing more. Yeah. Than than to be on a kind of funny games cast. Uh, those guys are phenomenal at what they do, uh, and and I and pretty much. Everything that happens at without parole mm-hmm. it can be traced back to 
uh, the games cast uh, on Kind of Funny because uh, pe- people have accused me of stealing things from other YouTube channels yeah. and I was like I have stolen everything from other YouTube channels <laughs> but the only YouTube channel I've stolen from yeah. has been Kind of Funny so just want to say uh, shout nice. out to those guys for doing God's work Hello, Sonny. oh is your blinds open what? what did the human that you knocked out wake up do you have to go and chloroform him again? Because well, he's handcuffed to the bed. Oh, ah. all right. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know if Metcat's jealous, but I don't know. what are you gonna do? Right. Uh, also, even I don't know if this is even bigger news, but mm-hmm. I think so. Uh, Sony announced a new PlayStation VR bundle. I know. Oh, right. Yeah. And, oh and no, like two hours after I said it. Yeah, oh, so, yeah, so, I know, right? Yeah. So, so we are absolutely credited. They heard you. Yeah, like, okay, absolutely. get on that. I, I believe Lloyd. my quote was, if they make a bundle with Beat Saber, they will make all the money. Yeah. And then I get home, and I look at my phone, there it is. and Sony has announced yeah, yeah. a bundle with Beat Saber. And boy, and boy, boy. Looking over like on double whammy. Looking yep. over on Best Buy, um, looks like it's going to be released December 14th. Mm-hmm. It's going to be $350, and this might be the best bundle going, because not only does it come with the headset, the camera, two move controllers, yep. but also crazy. Beat Saber in the upcoming for three fifty two. It's yeah. insane. Yeah, what did we pay? 400 for just the headset? 400, no just camera, the camera, no controllers? Yep. No. Nothing. Just headset and no processor. That's right. I'd be angry if I wasn't so excited about more people getting PSVR, but I'm still angry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So why, Desra? How much did you pay for yours? All right, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Rody was saying Gungrave Trail uh, turned him off. Is there like Gungrave in VR? Or is he talking about Gungrave? <clears throat> so Gun Gungrave is an interesting story. Hmm. Let's where he has like the gra- the the. Let's tell us, Grandpa. Tell let's... us the story of Gungrave. Back in my day, computers took up a whole room. <laughs> uh, so there's a so so Gungrave is quite the interesting VR story okay. because it's been on the Japanese and Hong Kong store for pretty much fucking forever. Yeah, okay. right. Dave Station did a Let's Play way back, right, yeah. and it was pretty bad. Okay, mm-hmm. right. It's just like so. Like, and, and I got it, I get so I got it off the Japanese store, which was not in English, and then Dave got it off the Hong Kong store later, like months later, which mm-hmm. was in English. Um, <clears throat> and man, it's just not. It just wasn't any fun, right? Okay, so. Uh, you go because at first you're like, oh, this this is a, here, here it is third person yeah. Gungrave game, just sure. like the old PS2 games. Right. Yeah. You're in an alleyway and like you know some guys are coming at you, shooting at you and stuff, and you're just, 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 just doing yeah. the Gungrave thing. Sounds just, perfect. Swinging your coffin, doing the thing. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, oh, this here we go. This is Gungrave in VR. Mm-hmm. And, and then like you get into the first main area, like you come down the uh, the alleyway and it kind of opens up into like a city street, like in a big intersection. Yeah. And there's like I think there's tanks and there's, like, tons of enemies coming at you, flying in and and it's just like this non stop assault and you're like 10 minutes later I'm like I'm still in the same exact environment shooting stuff down oh. killing guys and I'm like when when is this gonna is this am I doing something wrong really? is there a switch I have to play is this like a never ending monster closet like what's going on like you kill that one enemy to progress the, the right yeah. and so I was like something seems broken here uh, and, and it's just no fun and by the time you get to the next level you're already done with it you're like yeah. Yeah. I'm like this isn't fun Yeah. Uh, and so apparently the reason it took so long to get to North America it's not out yet it's coming to European Territories, I think, very soon. Mm-hmm. I want to say either by the end of this week. It, maybe it's out now. God knows. Um, I have it. <laughs> I'll yeah. be, maybe I'll do a live stream later today. Who knows? Okay. We'll see what happens. Um, but but apparently it's been updated. Okay. They're, they're, calling, they're calling it the Loaded Coffin Edition, and you can you can get the uh, you can get the retail copy on Amazon. Mm-hmm. It's coming out next week, um, and apparently it's been updated. So we're gonna we're gonna see if it's if it's better. Yeah, I have no idea what kind of improvements they made, but it's been okay. a very long time. Yeah. If it was in English, like six months ago in the Hong Kong store, they must have been doing something. Yeah, yeah. right. Not- so I'm very curious to see. We will have a review at launch and a let's play long before that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's an interesting story. But I don't know how it ends up though. Maybe you should do a compare and compra- contrast a let's play of the original version, then the. I, I refuse to ever play that. Okay, fair enough. Again. <laughs> um, I, I think the review will suffice. We'll say, you know, we'll warn people that yeah. if they happen to buy the import, it's been improved. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. Um, and I think that pretty much does it. Anything good happening in the chat, guys? Uh, no. Someone talking made, about made, mention, Grave. made a bundle. Uh, someone mentioned a bundle. It was one ninety nine. Oh, like, game uh, attack. Yeah. For eight games. Oh, I was. Really? Yeah. No. If, if you go there, up a little there bit, there is that. that yeah. So I forget what that was called. Let me let me go take a quick look. It was called the. Which, well, it depends what the eight games are, I suppose. Oh, here. Yeah, the PSVR Tell me the game Mega. Cat. Yeah. Um, I've just seen a new PSVR Mega Bundle. Eight games, two twenty nine. Two twenty nine. Not. American but it's two twenty nine pounds. Pounds, baby, pounds. 
I gotta say that every time. All right, let's go I check out expert voice. reviews. This is the there PlayStation is. VR uh, Mega No pack. controllers. There's, what? There's... That's not very mega. All right, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so here we go. Included in the bundle, you receive five game download codes. Okay. So in case you're a physical collector, keep yeah. this in mind. Uh, namely, VR Worlds, Astrobot sure. Rescue yes. Mission, Skyrim yes. VR, oh, Doom VFR, yes. and Wipeout Omega yes. Collection. Amazing, amazing set of games. Yeah. Um, it's, it's only, only 230 games. pounds. I'm Did looking. you say eight games? Yeah, I said eight. Uh, hold on. My Three game. secret games. Three secret games. Is that, is that a thing? Yeah. Well, no, I don't know. No. Uh, maybe they're counting the number of games in VR worlds, which uh, you should not that's, do. No. No. No, 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 no. Who is this? Expert Reviews? No. Expert Reviews. Shame. Do they wait, say wait, wait, wait. No, 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 they no, say no, five? No. no, Expert Reviews did not say no, that. No, that was just... You, oh. you guys got that from the comments. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but right, again, sorry, this, expert, is, take it back. this is a Europe, uh, uh, site from the UK. Uh, in talking about like uh, the Amazon deal on the UK, I don't I don't know how much this goes for, know. or if this is even available in the states. Well, here's the question: Would you rather? Ha- so there's the the Astrobot and Moss. Actually, no, this is a better better one: the Creed and Super Hot bundle that comes with the Move controllers and the camera. Is that a better deal because you get the Move controllers? Well, the Move controllers are what? It's still fifty each, right? Yeah, it's a hundred bucks, right there. I don't know. Who's got those? But those are, those are pretty. Um, yeah, that's so funny, right? So, so, so I type into Amazon PSVR Mega Bundle, and the first thing that comes up is Desired oh by Dragons, and it's like it looks like this like uh, erotic novel, right? With right. like this dude with like from like ripped, here down. It does right? say Mega Bundle. Yeah, it does say Mega Bundle, but it's sponsored. It's not even. Well, I mean, he's so ripped. So they know something about your search want history. To conquer him. Apparently, that looks like nothing I would look for. Not nearly Asian enough. See, my, These my, are the jokes we used to make <laughs> back in the day. Sorry, right? guys. I the, really the apologize. floorboards, the bodies, the dildos, they're all missing. Oh, those God. Jokes, we, yeah. Right? Oh, yep. we used to talk about dead bodies. We used to talk about. Oh. Yeah, it was a lot of stuff. I don't think. And the problem was, we weren't terribly funny. <laughs> so it was like we're making terrible jokes, and they weren't really funny. It was just crude. Yeah. Uh, so on, on, the, on, the, on the North American Amazon site, there's not a listing. For the mega bundle, so I don't know if that's like hmm. specific to European territories. I'm curious. Oh, there's a wow, that's an awful deal. What's that? There's a 429.99 for the Valkyrie bundle that comes with the move controllers. Yeah, that's not. I don't think that's even official. Wow. I, I think that's just like. And there's a 420 edition. That's the headset and the fishing simulator and some move controllers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, definitely solo vision. Whatever bundle you get, the one with the moves is definitely the best choice. Oh, I love. You know, when these yeah. oh, that happen, I always wonder what was there. Can they retract that themselves? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. assuming that's what happened. Unless, unless like somebody in the chat, one of our moderators is taking care of stuff for us. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. The super hot Creed bundle is Thanks, North Aless. American, American only. only. Aless definitely loves terrible jokes because why else oh. would he have stuck with us for so long? Right. Does you know? a, Aless, does, does Aless have a VR headset? Because Aless, uh, Aless, Aless, uh, Aless is about his. Okay, it was it was a typo. Yeah. Not five games, not eight. Oh. Okay. Five games, not eight. From keyboard time. Okay. Uh, we forgive typos. Yes, we do. Unless Jeremy makes them. Yeah, the, I do he, them often. He will be punished. Yeah. <laughs> Severely. All right, now, so no, nothing else in the chat? Any, anybody? Because we got, we got about uh, 10 more minutes before we A lot of talk about bundles. Yeah, about the bundle deals. I wonder who in the chat watches and subscribes but actually doesn't have a headset. I'm curious to find out who are the ones, because I'm still surprised sometimes when I'm like, really? Yeah. Some of the yeah. people that have been around for a long time don't even have a VR headset. It's, it's funny, the ones that we've seen for a long time who, like came, who, who came around and got a headset. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, true, too. Like, like Blinkum. Yeah? Yeah. So uh, I'd be curious to see who has headsets already or doesn't. Yeah, I'm actually surprised to see more bundles coming out. Like, you would think around Black Friday, that would be, that's here's where your bundles are. Did they just not do as well as they thought? So they're kind of cranking out some more. Although someone was saying that multi-game one is only the it is uh, EU and our Creed Super Hot bundles only North America. Yeah, Les still, so still doesn't just have one. Aiming at different markets. Um, message from Michelle. Michelle just wants to make sure everyone's having a good day. Aww. Where's on your phone or in here? Oh, from my, I just picked up my phone. Ah. Oh, Jake Morrison getting one for Christmas. Hey, Yay! Yay! It's so hey, exciting. Christmas. Man. It really hey, is Christmas. so exciting. Everyone getting one for Christmas. Pocket Monkey everyone, doesn't. Um, Pocket Monkey doesn't have one. Uh, I don't have a headset mainly because my kids steal it from me before I can play. So <laughs> there's one in the home. <laughs> yes, got it. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't. I just I didn't got my headset last this week. Is, this is VR related. Wow. So we're having our holiday party at the fencing club. Mm-hmm. I got the OK and the solid endorsement to bring in the, the headset to let people play Beat Saber. 
Excellent. Oh, nice. And she's like, we're going to make them only play one-handed. Like, oh, we can't do that to them. Oh. No, no, no. Well, if, if, if I don't think was, she understood what she was, was what you Yeah, asking. if one-handed was more than just expert mode, it would yeah. be a different story. Yeah. But So I don't know what... Uh, really? I might, oh. I'm for sorry, some, For some of our adults, I might ask for permission to uh, to record and see if we can get some fencers playing yeah. VR nice. for the first time. So. You're going to get them all dressed up in the fencer garb? Uniform? Well, it's a holiday party, so probably not. But yeah, I might do it. Just to... Um, <laughs> Madman threw out a warning for everybody warning. that um, if you get a new headset and it's super grainy, it might be faulty because he bought a new one oh. and he had to exchange it. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There is. Po- there's a lot of people out there yeah. that I'm surprised. Pocket Monkey doesn't have one yet. Um, I thought Pocket Monkey said there's one in the house, but his kids have it. <laughs> oh wait, not Pocket Monkey. Uh, there's another one. Where is he? Uh, I have a buddy that got a Black Friday bundle, Motion Sickness. That's Nick Mulo. Yeah, uh, Motion Sickness and Firewall. I, my nephew came over. He's like big on like you know Call of Duty, big shooter game guy, and he was so excited when I told him like, oh, I finally have a game you want to come try, and he had to tap out, which is weird because I have not had really any problem with Firewall. Yeah, you're kind of you're kind of my litmus test. Yeah. If, if, if Des doesn't get motion sick, then you're probably not going to get yeah, motion really. sick. Yeah, which would, uh, so I think that tells me maybe my exposure has gotten to where I'm, I'm used to it more now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he was he was done. Which is mm. weird. So. Craziness. Yeah, just take take your time, man. Like, you know, if uh, we want to make sure that anyone who experiences motion sickness, we don't want you to give up on PlayStation mm-hmm. VR. We don't want you to give up on VR in general. Uh, yeah. Just take your time, man. There's so many games you can play that, that don't require any movement whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and so start with those. There's plenty of games that allow you to do teleportation. Yeah. Uh, you're, one of the big things for Dez was the smooth turning. Smooth. Uh, I've discovered that is my, my weakness. So if, uh, uh, yeah. so if you find yourself getting sick, try quick turning and see yeah. what happens. And do not listen to the people who just say, tough it out, tough it out. It'll get yeah. better. No, don't. Uh, Some play, it works play it, for. Play it every day. Yeah. Right? Right. Play, it, play it a little bit more every day. Um, but, but yeah, don't yeah. tough it out. Just if a game is making you sick, stop playing. Stop, yeah. There, like you were saying, there are so many other choices of games that won't make you sick. Yeah. Um, that just don't make any because your point of view is stationary, etc. Um, play those, and maybe eventually you're going to start getting better and more used to other games. But if a game is making you feel bad, stop playing that game. Yeah. <laughs> I had the... Uh, so when I very first started playing VR, yeah. yes, I... During that first, I'm talking sitting, putting it on, yeah. hit and play, and trying something. Yeah. I mm-hmm. very much, well, kitchen was my first, so I didn't do much movement. That blew my mind. Yeah. But then my next actual moving was, um, oh my God, uh, you know, fucking racing. Drive club. Drive club. Brr. And That's what I'm here for. That, <laughs> that was intense. I felt so sick. Intense. I fell. I almost. I fell over on my couch. I felt the first turn. Dizzy. I like, literally went yeah. down. I was like, whoa! I, it was bad. <laughs> like, and I, and I had to like just. I I closed my eyes and I'm like ah, and I'm like peeking through and I'm like adjusting and is <laughs> seriously. And the more yeah. I go around corners, the less nauseous I was. And then eventually, I was just like, I'm like ah. And then yeah. you know, it goes away. The sensations there, but now it'll happen. That it's not while I'm playing do I get it, but I sometimes get that feeling of car sickness. You know that car? Well, motion yeah. sickness, but you know what you I mean. Go right now, right. you got time to end the show. Um, we're ending the show in the next minute and a half. Yes. All right, <laughs> All right guys. So, <laughs> yeah, we, I was gonna say we need to wrap it up anyway. Okay. So, uh, yeah. so sorry to cut you off, Jeremy. Uh, no, 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 but thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of PSVR Gamescast Live. Uh, yeah. Make sure you come back tomorrow for the rest of the show, which is pre-recorded, called Viewer Takeover, where we answer questions from the comments, uh, and of course support us over on patreoncom slash without parole games. Also, give us a dollar or more every month on Please. Patreon. Guys, mm-hmm. we absolutely love you all. Have an amazing rest of your day. Yes. Yes. And and week. Bye. Wait. We're going to do the, oh, yeah. the so wave. Wipe the window. We're going to do it in unison. Bro. Um, to wipe us. the window. Wipe the window. No, oh, there's a spot. Wipe the window. Over, over here. <sighs> so I'm ending the show. All right, bye.